Hello, I'm Thorstein, and today I want to talk about using Emacs instead of Tmux as your terminal multiplexer. And you may ask why, you know, why when Tmux is so nice, why do you even bother with Emacs? And I do agree, Tmux is great here, I'm running Tmux, and this is the way I like to run it, you know, I have, here I have a, a tab called Keycloak, and in here I'm running Keycloak, and then I have, you know, top, and here I run top, and then I have one where I do other things, you know, and very fast I can switch between them and now, you know, some nice state aspire action going down here. You can see how much RAM I'm using and percentage of the battery and so on. Very good, very nice. I only, it was just that I had one problem and that was Tmux was crashing on me and I just didn't have the time or the motivation to get to the bottom of why it was crashing. And then I start to think about, well, why why don't I use Emacs for this? And it already gives me all the shortcuts that I already know and love and I use all day around anyway. And I also get the same color thing. You don't need to have to fill about with the Tmux color thing whenever I change the Emacs color theme and then I want to change the Tmux one to match and so on. I don't have that problem if I'm using Emacs as the multiplexer. Right, so... How I did this is that I used three things. I used vterm and multi vterm, and then I used shell mode and spawn shell. Right, so vterm, uh, if you haven't tried it out and, and you are on Linux, uh, I do recommend you trying it out. It allows you to run really rich applications inside of Emacs. So I will give you a couple of examples. So you start with vterm, and if you haven't done install it before, it will download some source code and compile it because there's some na native code in involved here. Um, and then I can do things like I can run top and you know, everything is just right. You know, the colors are right here. I have a top theme that I've skinned it a bit. And it updates, you know, the way it should do and everything just looks right. And of course you can run them inside of Emacs. And here I have, you know, syntax highlighting. Um, and the shortcuts just work and everything is just the way it should be inside of e Vterm. And then multi Vterm allows me to have multiple ones, right? So that was the first piece of the puzzle. Um, so multi Vterm as well. Uh, and then shell mode, and shell mode I had been using for many many years and I really like that as well because you know vterm is nice but if I do control P to go to the previous lane it doesn't, I, I don't, don't do that you know I then then the the history in the shell kicks in so uh, with shell mode I don't have the problem so if I do control P I can just walk up here and I can copy everything with you know with Emacs shortcuts, I can um, you know manipulate the text, paste it in. I can capitalize all the words and so on. So shell mode is still my favorite terminal terminal related mode in Emacs. And then spawn shell. That's a function I found on Stack Overflow and it allows you to create multiple shell buffers with different names. So remember I told you that I like here in Tmux, I like to have one called Keycloak and another called Top and maybe one called Build where I work on the build code. Um, and Spawn Shell allows me to do that. So I just do, let's say Spawn Shell and then I can say Keycloak maybe with some special things and I can run set shell and then I can start it keycloak bin start line and now I have a buffer with keycloak running and so whenever I want to check out the key, what keycloak is up to I can just switch to that buffer so you know so I'm inside the shell here and I want to check out keycloak I just hit a couple of keys and I can quickly jump to it very nice so with these three things I have a working terminal multiplexer and of course together with Emacs daemon and that you can detach from a running Emacs session and so on and so forth it's pretty close to what T 
Tmux gives you, um, and it's uh, more than good enough for me to use instead of Tmux. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.